We may still only be in April, but Alex Hales took his tally of first-class runs this season to 540 as he again dominated the scoring for Nottinghamshire on the opening day of their LV County Championship fixture against Hampshire at the Aegeus Bowl. On a bitterly cold morning, it came as no surprise when Jimmy Adams asked the visitors to bat first after winning the toss, but his attack were unable to make the inroads they would have hoped for early on as Stephen Mullaney and Brendan Taylor again got their team off to a solid start, as they have done in all of their innings thus far. Mullaney has made the habit of getting in and then getting out before making a telling contribution, something he would have been keen to put to an end. Some early boundaries will have lifted his confidence. The four Hampshire seamers hadn't got the breakthrough, so Adams turned to Danny Briggs in the 23rd over, and with his very first ball, he got one through Taylor to send him on his way for 24. But the spinner had less success against Hales, who came into this game after smashing a double ton against Yorkshire last week. He and Mullaney batted through the morning to take knots to lunch on 75 for one, a position they would have been pleased with. The home attack gave very little away, which meant that Mullaney and Hales had to work really hard for their runs. They had to make sure that they did make the most of anything on offer, and that's what this pair did as they batted through 35 overs together. In that time, Mullaney reached a 50 for the first time this season, a patient one, made off 138 deliveries, that being the all-rounder's seventh four. He's added some much-needed steel to the top of the order. Hales, meanwhile, has made his intentions clear from the outset. He wants to play Test Match Cricket for England, and on his current form, such a thing may not be too far away. Dropping to number three has seen him pile on the runs this year, in spite of being run out for a duck in his first championship innings of the summer at Lords. He is in jaw-dropping form at the moment, and he was again putting his team into a strong position. Knots have scored plenty of runs this year, but have drawn their two games to date. Hampshire too have started their four-day season in an encouraging fashion, and Mullaney nicked a wide ball from Sean Irvin behind to give the bowler his 200th first-class wicket for his county. Mullaney was on his way for a very hard-working 66, leaving Hales to go on. A pulled four, the batsman's ninth boundary took him to another 50. As with his first in his big knock against the champions, it hadn't come quickly, using up 108 deliveries. But after raising his bat, Hales likes to pick up the pace, and that's just what he did here. Batting was never easy, although at times Hales made it look that way. He helped his team reach 182 for two at tee, with the last session time to push on against a tiring attack. Hales had to go on without James Taylor, though, who got to 10 when he top edged a sweep for his body to Irvin. Samit Patel soon followed. On four, he edged his former teammate Andre Adams to Liam Dawson, a nice moment for the Kiwi, who was a star at Trent Bridge in his eight years there. Nottinghamshire were in danger of losing their way after all the hard work of earlier, but Hales made sure they didn't. He moved beyond 500 runs for the first-class season as he really started to show his range with some sublime cricket shots. His second 100 of the campaign duly arrived, his second 50 occupying only 48 balls, he got there with his 20th boundary, one which flew a little too close to a fielder, and that's a stat which shows that he had defended manfully, waiting for his moment to strike. But the wickets continued to fall around him. Ricky Vessels had made 17 when he nicked a ball from Berg, which lifted on him, into the very safe hands of Dawson. Berg then struck again in his next over, now with the second new ball, as Chris Reid pulled him to Andre Adams. Reid was out for four. Again, Nottinghamshire were in danger of losing their way, but Will Gidman stuck with Hales for the last hour of the day, the latter ending unbeaten on an exceptional 136. He may even be thinking about a second double hundred in a week. He's added 40 so far with Gidman to take Nottinghamshire to 301 for six, a position they will look to kick on from on the second morning. <laughs>